<laughs> Let's take a glimpse and check it out now. Even in fashion, I'll up it in traffic. Holy! Now, true designer demon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, K Flock, he's a upcoming drill rapper out of the Bronx, okay? If you don't know, pretty much uh, he's arrested for murder in broad daylight. People are saying, or actually the police is saying in the criminal complaint, that he got into an argument with a man that was in a barbershop and that he pulled out a gun and shot him, okay? Now, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, well, how do we people even know this is him? He had a mask on, at least that person in the video had a mask on, and obviously the police felt they had enough probable cause to issue an arrest warrant. Now, this is what we're finding now, okay? Allegedly, there's some DNA slash fingerprint evidence that is going to be in this case, and what happened is that after the shooting, there was communication between, obviously, people who either saw or heard, and they called the cops, okay? The precinct isn't that far away from where this happened. So the police was trying to apprehend or respond to the shooting, and apparently K Flock started running, okay? Now, the same while he started to run, clearly the cop know you're looking for an active shooter, and it would be very clear if someone has a gun in their hand. Now, clearly, even if he got caught, he didn't want to get caught with a gun. They're saying that he got rid of the gun by throwing it away, and that gun was later found. The gun was found with his prints on it, okay? Now, he was recently transferred to Rikers Island, uh, the West facility, for inmates with contagious diseases. And if this is true, okay, because we haven't fully seen the cops comment on this, but this is really that's all that's coming out of, you know, uh, some people who have seen or been privy with some of the case files that hasn't been open yet for discovery. If police has K Flox fingerprints on it, clearly it's another reason to say he did the shoot. Now, I don't think the fingerprints is what's going to make him get off or the thing that'd be like, oh, he's definitely done. It's going to be probably a case of self-defense, okay? I just think it's going to be a hard thing to prove self-defense because self-defense in Northeast states, in like, say, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, you can't claim self-defense even if the other person had a gun or the other person punched you in your face. As soon as the other person turns their back, and here's the thing, it said that the guy got shot in the back. As soon as the person turns their back and is walking away or is retreating, if they're no longer a threat, you are not using self-defense. This is not in Florida and other places where if somebody started a problem, you can end it. Once they are no longer a threat, you cannot chase, you cannot pursue, and you could definitely not kill. So we'll figure out what's going to happen. Um, you know, recently, I've been actually listening to some of the songs by this guy. Again, I like the samples coming from this Bronx drill movement. But I'm going to be honest with you, man, um, the, the, the power of the tongue and the amount of death and um, violence they talk about, you can't be shocked by any of these outcomes when, you know, these things happen in the streets. So I'll keep you guys updated with more info. But, um, yeah, K Flock, allegedly his DNA and fingerprints were found on the murder weapon that was tossed during a foot chase. What do you guys think about this? I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll find out next.